so they can launch more takeover. Here he is now talking about they want to get involved with Syria and Syria alleged problem over there. Guys and their own citizens. We all on the brink of World War Three, but America, who doesn't have any funding to pay no one through these times of stress. Everybody's living in alleys and stuff like that. They can't find no source of income to compensate people. You know, you can't get no help for finding a job or anything. I'm sorry, you did not register for selective service. All that bullshit, all right? And then you sit here as a 52-year-old man knowing that they done deliberately stolen everything. And now they want to go all into the Middle East and murder all those people over there. Syria, they already in Iraq, already in Afghanistan. All the shit that they're doing all over the planet, murdering people and this and that. And then they give us this bullshit because I still don't know whether Christopher Lane was murdered by these three, two blacks and a white kid or three white kids because I've already seen two different stories. And I know a lot of you people that live here in this Portland, Vancouver area knows what I'm saying is true because you saw it too if you get up and watch the news. I don't get up and watch the news earlier every morning, but this one particular morning I was up watching it. And I didn't see this lady bringing a report. I think it was KATU. It had to be KATU because that's mostly what news station I listen to. But they showed three white men as the culprits. This description of these three men came later on in the night, and I was shocked. And just so you can all know, the problem with us in America killing each other is because we're getting subline suggestion from the media and the television and the computer to make us all snap and be crazy like that. It was bizarre and odd as hell. The white guy went into the school of the black kids to murder them, but he was overwhelmed with a spiritual attack that wouldn't let him do it. You know, or was it just someone trying to stage that to show to the world that the universe is not just targeting little white schools? But I want to be honest with all of you Caucasian people out there. Yes, the universe is targeting you and your children because the universe wants you to understand that we know that your children are going to grow up to just be nothing but repeats, repeats of your selfish wickedness. And you, everything about drinking and smoking and all of this promiscuity and everything that you guys have showed as adults yourselves and all the shows that you like to be on your television spectrum and everything about all this just unforgettable and unable to tolerate. It can't be tolerated smut. And it's all coming from your media and from everything. We know that your children, when they grow up, will only be repeats of you. Where you'll be sitting up, misleading people with some more, and fabricating lies that these people who doesn't even know in the country got so much power. They could give us all these news stations who keep us... Un keep us un unknowledgeable and confused about now was these white so blacks that did this murder and always coming up ways to keep you in dog and keep you separated and keep you in need to make you be on the urge or on the real shaky seat of running into freaking Walmart or Starbucks or somewhere to buy something so they're tampering with our minds really bad making us all be homeless full of fear full of doubt and separatism and more than anything poverty and depressed okay and everybody eating their processed food that they keep putting their little additives in that makes you get addicted to all that stuff and so we're just in a bad shape all right and it'll be really bad shape so i'm saying this to everybody because i've watched a lot of stuff that i've been doing and saying and i want you all to know that you shouldn't take it personal all right, because I don't take it personal when I'm ostracizing everything because the thing is, I know that if you're going to be a person that truly works for the universe, you're going to have to go through that extremity because the people that I'm trying to reach has been really reached already by people who makes them very violent to the people that wants to wake them up and very non-absorbing or non-listening, incoherent, if you will to the person that's trying to bring them out of their foolish existing and, and state of being in the pig pen and not knowing it. So on that note, I just want you to know that when you watch this right here, take into consideration that the world state of decadence is not based on any one criminal act. When we have so many of them being enacted every second of the day, especially 
the criminal acts that's being enacted to the families of the Middle East, those Arabian people who we all know have done some horrible things to us melanated people, but still in all, I find no pleasure, even though I might point it out, I find no pleasure in seeing them being victimized the way they are being victimized. And I find no pleasure in being an American that could be targeted as a person subjected to bad karma for being in this country and not even having the balls to open my mouth and shout out that this is wrong. Okay, because you can see that's not a part of me. I do everything I can to inform everyone that all this foolishness that's going on on the earth is because we are all oppressed by a government regime who gets profit off of all of these chaotic circumstances that they have induced our minds into constantly perpetuating. There's nothing we can do under their system of brain control and neglect and deprivation other than perpetuate the ideals that they subline to us constantly every day and the drugs that they put in our foods that's all designed to make us be the quick tempered let's go get a beer it's all there can they control us very bad they have they have come very very skilled at mind control and we need to know that and we all need to put our brains together and do something to combat this problem because it's not a black problem and it's not a white problem it is an American people getting ready to be genocide problem. And that's what I've been trying to do all the time is point out to you white people that you guys more than anyone has played the biggest part of setting up these circumstances for us all to enter up in those concentration camps. And if you don't start trying to do something immediately to push that Jesus crap out of your head and start seeing the real true severity of what's getting ready to go to your biggest problem is that these weather formations are going to kill you guys off the earth I keep telling you that I keep your neglect of me when I tell you I am a time traveler and I have right possession of this planet and even though you want to sit around here and make me have a backpack and all this stuff that I know you foolishly gonna do you're gonna regret that because as soon as my circumstances be so bad where I leave this city I guarantee you this city is going to be flooded or something bad is going to happen to it. I guarantee you that. And not only this city, Portland also, because the games that you Caucasian people has played all over this earth and the trouble that you're causing to people everywhere else on the planet has what constituted the need for the Federation to come here and to get you guys completely off the planet. Now I've been honest with you and I've been telling you the truth. And I'm being real calm about it now, and I'm not going to let my anxieties and my Herod temper, because I know I've worked so hard to try to get you all to see the true dynamics of what's going on, and you all just want to be so evasive of what's right in your face. You're not going to sit here and try to act like you do not see all these UFOs flying around this planet that I tell you are here to destroy you. And you're just going to walk around here wanting to keep worshiping your Jesus, who you don't see anywhere. And you know for a fact that all the crimes that I accuse you guys of doing, you did do. And you know those lights are dead by the sun. Does look like the lights that's on police cars. So all this stuff that you got under your belt, and when I tell you the electromagnetism is going to go through the wires and set your houses on fire right in the city. And I told you that the school buses were going to be flipped over. I mean, there's so many that they can flip over all through you guys going to school if that's what it takes to get your attention and to make you start doing something as a responsible group of people. If that's what it all boils down to, don't you think that they will hesitate to do I'm talking about burning up real cities, burn up a whole city in one day, sinkholes popping up everywhere all over the planet. You got one in Kansas City right now showing you we can put them out in the desert, but we're going to start putting them right up under your houses. This is what they're saying to you. I see those things drilling holes. I've seen a machine drilling one of those things. So I'm saying to myself, you know, they could be underground drilling upward, just making those things. They're so smart. They could they could make a sinkhole wherever they want to and make the earth collapse and destroy a whole city. So I'm saying this to you all to let you know that we really need to not keep pointing the finger at each other because of race and see these crimes and dichotomizing these crimes. The big crime is the crime of oppression. And in case you white people don't know, you are oppressed right now too. You just don't know that. You're worshiping 
the white man is God and turning off your true God essence inside of self. Each one of you individuals doing that is oppressing yourself and by oppressing yourself you launch oppression more worldly because your oppression makes you oppress self and then it makes you go out and oppress others. So you guys are going to be held double responsible for the state of suppression and oppression right along with the Zionists who couldn't have pulled it off without your help okay so i want to get started on this so I, you guys can hear what's going on with this peace and blessing baseball superstar in college uh was fatally shot by three teenagers in oklahoma now the three teenagers are facing consequences they got arrested immediately james francis edwards jr is a 15 year old uh, and chancy luna alan luna is a 16 year old both of them have been charged with murder michael dewayne jones is 17 and he's been charged with accessory to murder after the fact and with firing a weapon. So um, immediately after this happened, uh, they faced consequences, which they should. And I should also note that the reason why they decided to go out there and just shoot this perfectly innocent person was because they happened to be bored. Mm -hmm. They took their gun, they went out with their 22 caliber and, and shot this poor 22 year old to death. So um, now the story is stirring up some controversy among conservatives. Alan West recently tweeted the following. Uh, we were bored and decided to s kill somebody. Three black teens shoot white jogger. Who will the president of the United States identify with this time? This is, first of all, of course, Alan West is making it racial, right? Like, oh, it was the blacks who shot him. By the way, one of the kids was white, the, the kid who drove the car, okay? It was blacks who shot him, and so, and, and it was a white guy who got shot. Is the president going to come outside and say, oh, I identify with the jogger? Well, of course he'd identify with the jogger. Would he identify with a guy who was so randomly bored and shot someone in the head or what? Or in the back, actually, in this case. Mm -hmm. No, the reason that they say that is like, mm, you see that? Okay. What happened when it's blacks who shoot poor whites and they get their boy, Alan West, to make this comment? Listen, you idiots. The problem with Trayvon Martin was that the guy who shot him was not arrested. In this case, the kids were immediately arrested as they should have been. It's a non-story. It's a story in what a tragedy it is. But in terms of a national injustice, there was no injustice. They were arrested as they should have been, put in jail, and they'll probably get a very, very long sentence that they deserve. You see, the problem was the injustice because Zimmerman got to walk away after shooting the kid. They didn't even do a toxicology report or a criminal background check on him. They they sick of me, man. It's, they send their, their sick, stupid boy, Alan West, out there to be like, oh, yeah, okay, what would you like me to say? Okay, yeah, you see, that is the black people's fault. Look at the blackies shooting the white man, poor white man. You see that? It's all the blackies' fault. It is President Obama's fault. Uncle Ruckus, get the fuck out of our lives. That's okay, right. Jesus Christ, man. And look, some people might make the argument that the George Zimmerman case was highly politicized, but of course it was highly politicized. I mean, it involved stand your ground laws, which are highly questionable. It involved a man who shot and killed a 17 year old, but faced no consequences for it until it became a big media story weeks and weeks later. Um, but in this case, I mean, I, why are you politicizing this? What the three teenagers, teenagers did was absolutely wrong. They should face consequences. Two of them are facing life in prison, as they should, right? But th there's nothing political about this. Why are you making this about the president? I just, it doesn't make any sense well, at all. Of course it does, yeah, right? Because you, unfortunately, are tasked with watching Fox News here as the producer of the show. And now every time a black person shoots a white person, they're like, where's the president? They get arrested, you assholes. They get arrested like they should. There's no injustice to correct. If there's a black kid or a black person who shoots a white person, and the cops come and go, oh, you know what, it's black. he's black, it's okay. Let him go. Let's do a criminology or a toxicology and a criminal background track on the white kid who's dead. We'd have a problem with it. That would be an injustice. Because we don't view it as just black and white, unlike you guys. Jerry, am I right or wrong that Fox News has been focusing in that direction? Well, for, um, I mean, sadly, every time you hear them say, uh, they're playing the race card, play the race card. I'll stop with the race card. It's them who immediately play the race card.